Hey, yo guys, it's me, Black Fox, and I hope that you guys had a nice, long, relaxing week. You know what's cool? Traveling around the world is pretty cool. Traveling in a plane, traveling in a boat, traveling in a train, traveling is so awesome. It's a cool way to explore the things around us that are close and things that are super, super far away. I actually prefer traveling when I can just drive myself. One of the best modes of transportation for traveling and being able to drive is an RV. The abbreviation for RV stands for Recreational Vehicle. These are vehicles that you can drive and have living quarters in them. So, what are living quarters in an RV, you might ask? These are places in the vehicle where you can, well, live. Such as a small bedroom, or a small bathroom, and even a small little kitchen. Now, what's also cool about RVs, or recreational vehicles, is they can come in all different shapes and sizes. RVs can be little with one bedroom and one bathroom, and the little kitchen is the sitting area, so very small. Two, the gargantuan, with massive bathrooms and a nice big bedroom in a place to sit with a TV and a kitchen. It's kind of hard to say or pinpoint exactly when RVs were invented and or who actually invented the first one. Some believe that RVs were inspired by traveling nomadic caravans that existed in Europe during the 1800s. The first production of the RV was done by a production company called Pierce Arrows. This RV was called Touring Landau. The production of this vehicle took place in 1910, where it made its first debut in Madison Square Garden. The Touring Landau reflected the concepts of luxury and comfort while on the road. This vehicle was a true novelty of the time. Now, this is when RV history gets pretty cool. In 1915, Ronald R. Conklin took his gypsy van and customized it. He customized it in a way that it could hold 11 people, had a shower, a bathtub, and a folding laboratory. To prove that his van was functional and could be used for travel across country, he traveled from his state of New York all the way to San Francisco. This van wasn't small at all. No, 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 no. This van was 25 feet long and weighed a whopping eight tons. That is one big RV. What was also pretty cool about this van, or RV at the time, was the interior, which included a full kitchen and a secret squirrel hidden bookcase. Those two examples help set or open the doorway to many, many different variations or types of recreational vehicles to come. Being able to travel cross country to one of my favorite vacation spots is just so cool, especially when I decide that I just want to stick around for a while and I would be able to do so in my RV. It's also pretty cool when you get to travel around with your friends, which brings me to my review for today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. So this is the Friends RV. I think it's really cute. The first thing I noticed when I was putting this set together is all these amazing colors. I like sets that have such vibrant colors. I don't know, it just puts me in such a positive, peppy mood. I just really like the color pink. <laughs> and I love greens and yellows and just baby blues. So this set is perfect for all those awesome colors. And it's an RV that kind of looks like a tree house. So that's another thing that I really like about it as well. It didn't take me too long to put together. I'm going to say about an hour, an hour and a half. And I took my time even, wasn't in a rush, just because I wanted to enjoy it. I always enjoy 
putting Legos or blocks together. I don't know, it's just relaxing. So this one didn't take too long at all. I like the little mailbox that's right there and all these little stickers. And look at these little hubcaps, they're hearts. So again, it's just like the little stuff that I really appreciated with this. And you're probably looking at it like, how on earth am I supposed to enjoy the inside? Well, it's really easy. All this stuff opens up by just sliding it over and opening up the doors. So it exposes everything on the inside as well. And on the inside is like a breakfast nook. So it's actually pretty neat. I have my little stove over there with my hot dogs. And then I even have a little mouse friend over there. I really like that just sliding it over gave me access to all this room on the inside and on the out. And on the very tippy top is like a little garden. Like, look at that. That is so cool. It's a little veggie garden. And their beds are up there as well. So it's actually pretty neat. It's neat, it's nifty, and it's got a little slide. So let's check it out from above. Rise on up, rise on up, rise, rise, and I'm rising. Check it out from above. <laughs> so here it is from above as well. Look at that. My little garden. My beds are right there. Look at my beds. And you can see the mouse a heck of a lot better. Like, look at that. It's so cute. My stove, my hot dogs, my sink, my little coffee cup. It's so cute. And if you look on the outside, look at these little gardens. So it's like a little garden bed or a windowsill. And this is a laptop too. So it's, it's really neat. And if you wanted to go camping and you wanted to stop your RV or your Lego RV, how you do it is you drop down your brakes. Boom, pump those brakes. <laughs> and it'll stop it. It doesn't completely stop it, but it does, if that makes sense. So, so I think that's a neat touch too. So I thought this set was pretty neat. Again, I absolutely enjoyed the colors. I just love these colors. It came also with this little workbench. Cute, right? And this umbrella, it didn't really say where to put the umbrella. It just gives me an umbrella. So I have an umbrella. They are way too, oh, wait a minute. Is it supposed to hook? Maybe it's supposed to hook on the tennis court. No, no it doesn't. <laughs> so, so I have an umbrella. I'm not really positive um, but where the umbrella goes, but I have it. And I just really liked putting this set together. It just, it made me smile, like I said, for the colors. And I don't know. I just really like the Friends series. Well, thank you guys so much for checking out my review for today. And I hope you enjoyed that little tidbit of history on the side. Being able to travel in an RV is pretty cool. And it's even better when you can do so with your friends and your family. Before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for new updates. That's all that I have for now. Block Fox, over and out!